Is Apple getting into the robot race? In case you haven't heard or noticed, there's a humanoid robot revolution underway. Almost half a dozen robotics companies have posted significant updates in recent months, ushering in a new era of bots, and even Apple might be getting in on the action. Let's start with the OG, Boston Dynamics, which recently unveiled a massive second generation update to its Atlas robot. This all new Atlas is Boston Dynamics first all electric humanoid robot, and the robotics firm claims it's stronger and more agile than all previous iterations. What jumps out at me in this video though is the robot's far more human-like body. Gone are the bulky looks, triangular head, and large battery. Even though the original Atlas was agile and quite skilled at parkour, which I won't do here, these new Atlas moves blew me away. Next up, there's One X's Neo Beta. This humanoid is less notable for its skills than One X's plans to drop it into your home. The video implies that this guy is living with his friend, but most robotics experts I've talked to do not believe any of these humanoids are ready to live alongside their flesh and bone counterparts. Undeterred, One X recently unveiled Neo Gamma, which is depicted helping carry groceries, clean the home, make coffee, serve that coffee, and yes, even clean windows. One X has a wait list where you can, we guess, order one of these robots, but there's no information on timing or more importantly, price. There's also the bizarre Protoclone. It's the one robot that appears to have the most anatomically accurate body of all these humanoids. Instead of traditional servos, Protoclone uses artificial muscle fibers or myofibers and 500 sensors. Honestly, this video of it hanging and twitching is terrifying. Now we've been particularly impressed with Unitree's G1 robot, which I checked out at CES 2025. It has some of the smoothest moves, but is also pretty short. And a lot of what G1, which starts at $16,000 can do, is based on teleoperation. One of the most eye-opening humanoid robot demonstrations we've seen is the Figure AI Helix demo, in which two figure robots use AI to work together and figure out how to put away groceries. The most exciting thing about these robots is that according to Figure AI, these Helix robots can handle such tasks without being trained on those specific objects. Now coming in potentially out of left field is Apple. Recent rumors point to it also working on a humanoid robot. However, the only evidence we have of Apple's robot activities is this adorable lamp-like research robot. It moves just like Pixar lamp and well, we're smitten. How this converts into humanoid robot development, well, that's anyone's guess. Apple entering humanoid robot space sounds a little too much like dreams of an Apple television set or even the apparently abandoned Apple iCar. If Apple is serious, perhaps it will look at buying one of these upcoming robot companies. Our hope though, is that if Apple wants to build a humanoid robot, it partners up with Sophia maker Hanson Robotics and builds a realistic looking Steve Jobs robot. 